Hello watchers, it's me Jasper. Today, the day is winding down to an end. Uh, it was a bit of a busy day. Today was Sunday. Today was my youngest's birthday party. He is turning three, but he's actually turning three tomorrow. Uh, the weather held out. Um, if you guys can't tell, <laughs> it actually was quite sunny today. The quite opposite of what they called for a few days ago so it was a good thing um I'm feeling a little burnt right now uh skin's starting to tighten up i've already been throwing lotion on it uh it was a good day though i mean the kids had fun they've been out in the park all day uh playing uh we had it out in the park right behind me if you guys can't see um you know, I had some family members all we we had a bit of a cookout. Um for the most part, you know, it's just people come and go and my son got got his new bike. He was excited to get it. He really was, but um he's still learning the ride. I thought he he knew a little bit more than he did cuz it's the first time he's actually rode a bike this year. But I thought last year he was a little bit more up on it, but it is what it is. Um, like I said, um, I think my oldest really started learning at three, if I remember. But yeah, yeah, I think it was. And that was really the time he started learning too. So, I mean, the bike fits him perfectly. The helmet fits him perfectly. That's what I was more concerned with the helmet. I have a hard time finding the helmet for him, because for his age, he's he he's. More of a size of a, a two-year-old than a three-year-old. He's he's quite small, uh, especially for his age. But the helmet fit. <sighs> Excuse me. Um, and he was you know able to reach the pedals uh, sufficiently to where he'll actually be able to pedal. Hopefully, in about a month, he'll be able to do it on his own, or, t or maybe maybe a little bit longer. I don't know. We'll see. But. You know, I was I was happy. You know, it was the last gift I pulled out for him. You know, everybody uh, gave him their gift, and I didn't want to just because I know he, that's all he wanted to do is play with that one. If I brought it out first, and I didn't want to, you know, do that, so I let him play with everything else, and then all of a sudden I just brought that out. Um, yesterday, yesterday and Friday, I mean, man, it rained and it rained hard both days. I'm glad I did make the choice to move it to today because, like I said, it rained. It late. And it wasn't just like a, a small drizzle. It downpoured for both those days. Um, had to get some water repellent on the windows, even though I did get it washed. First time I did that with this car. So, I know it's like a day late, dollar short kind of thing. But, for the next, next time it does start raining, um, hopefully I'll be prepared. But overall, you know, I was satisfied with the way everything went. You know, he had his cake, we had burgers and and chips, and you know, just had a, had a small cookout. You know, with I think a total of twenty people showing up, and it was fun. You know, just getting out there and doing that, just hanging out. Um, I wish we could have done it a little bit longer, but you know, maybe some other time. Maybe I'll have just just a cookout some other time. Well, I got some priorities to take care of. Like on the car, I got to get that caliper changed. I was going to do it this weekend, but with the weather and the party and stuff, it just kind of got pushed off. Because I still have to put the um, the in links on the sway bar because those both snapped off. I do have them. I just I was waiting to put them on when I put the caliper on since I had to get the, the wheel off anyways. And I need to check the, uh, the wheel bearings too. I think one of them is bad. I can't really tell which one. Hopefully it's just one, not both of them. But... Uh, I've been pricing them around. I seen I can get both of them. I can get both wheel bearings for like 60 or 70 bucks. I can't remember. But that would be awesome if I could. If that is the problem. But. You know, other than that, things seem to be going well. Uh, just dropped the boys off. And unfortunately, I don't know why, but the youngest, the one that just turned three, he. Uh, he, I fell asleep, I fell asleep, uh, and I guess he fell asleep, and I actually woke up to him puking, 
and he puked all over my bed, unfortunately, so I just dropped them off at their mother's, and he puked on himself once on the way over there, so I gotta go in there, and I gotta clean that up, I'm so happy to do that, I'm so looking forward to do that, <laughs> considering I just washed all my, my linens last weekend, um, so, you know, sick kids and all, I don't know, I think maybe he just played a little hard, and it that maybe keep hydrated enough or something, you know, a little bit of sun poisoning or something, because he like said it was bright. It, it did, the cloud cover did start coming in later in the day, about five or six. So he wasn't out there all day, but, um, I think about 10, 11 o'clock, um, we came outside. I think it was closer to 11 o'clock. He came outside. So, hopefully he is a little better. So hopefully it's just, you know, he's a little dehydrated or whatever it is. He's not actually getting sick. Um, Other interesting news. I had to reseal Oscar's fish tank. Um, I think it was Thursday night, early Friday morning. I woke up about 2.30 in the morning to get something to drink. And I come out to the kitchen... And I noticed that the filter was was quite loud. The water coming out of the filter was quite loud. So I turned on the light, and I think I might have already told you guys this in my last one of my last videos. But I'm just gonna repeat myself in case I hadn't. And I noticed there was about four inches down on the water level, and I was like, "Oh shit!" You know, couldn't find out where it was. So. I think it was yesterday after I got out of work. Um, I got the, you know, I started actually looking at the tank. I ended up buying a $6, about 15 gallon tote to put him in until I get all this completed. Uh, it looked like some of the silicone had separated. Um, so. I'm really hoping this time it doesn't. I think maybe since I moved, maybe it helped shift it a little and it caused it to separate. I really don't know why, but it looked like there was there was two spots where it might have come undone just because of glass. Um, so I have all that taken apart. I have it cleaned up, and I applied a new batch of silicone. So hopefully in two days I'll have have him two three days we'll we'll see it'll probably be about wednesday or thursday so i can get the water to cycle um you know back in this tank but i do have all that done i was actually planning to do it but i had the tank outside and it the weather was good because the the silicone has a very strong um acetic acid or vinegar smell to it um and i didn't want to do it in the house because last time i had to do it it stank it stank for several days uh, the entire house but this time I was able to actually do it outside so I didn't have to smell it um, so I'm, I'm really hoping that's a fix because I don't want to have to tear the entire tank apart and clean it and all that and redo it because that would be the next step if that if it doesn't work this time that's what I'll have to do is I'll literally have to take all the glass apart and do it um, in between because I'm right now I just sealed it sealed the corners and that's what I did last time so it looked like the the silicone in between was so good but we'll see we will see um and Oscar's somewhat content in that little tote like I said it's 15 gallons um so he has a little room to you know to swim around because when I first did it you know that night he was in a five gallon pail um, and that's all I had, you know, that's the only thing I had to put them in. So, I mean, luckily I even had that because otherwise I didn't, w wouldn't know what the fuck to do. Um, <laughs> I almost thought about using one of the kids' uh, toy boxes or, or something. Uh, their toy boxes is a pretty big tote. And it's probably, probably close to 20 gallons. Um, you know, I could always use that to them, uh, use that for him. If, if I really had to, but I would have had to hurry up and clean it out and all that stuff. But like I said, I got this one and that pail was there. So 
got a little bit of air in there. I got a little bit of a, a water circulator in there, so everything's moving around and and stuff. So he should be happy. He should be content until I, I get this handled. I just hope this fixes because it was a pain in the ass, you know, waking up and have to clean up water and drain the tank. Luckily, that you know, it was a slow drain and not just, you know, massive like it was the first time when everything decided just to give away at the same time. Um, but I'm quick on my feet when it comes to shit like that. Like I said, days one and down, I got that mess to clean up and I still have a little bit of laundry to do. So I'm going to end this video here. And if you like, go ahead and like. If you want to subscribe, go ahead and subscribe and go ahead and leave a comment at the bottom. But other than that, we'll see you guys around. Take care and bye bye.